Hi, everyone. My name is Matthew McFarlane. I am the product manager for Knowledge Group in the plan stage at GitLab. I primarily cover the wiki, our pages functionality, as well as our rich text and plain text editing capabilities. Today, I'm going to provide just a short overview of our wiki capabilities, which have continued to improve over the past couple of milestones. Now, to illustrate um, these capabilities, I'm going to share my screen. And what you're seeing now is a wiki available on our project level. We have the, a wiki available on both the project level and the group level. Now on the group level, this allows you to share knowledge across multiple different projects, um, which we recognize as valuable. And that was introduced in 13.5. Um, a, uh, a recent new feature that we introduced was this diagrams.io integration or draw.io integration. Um, and you can see right now on this knowledge group homepage of my wiki, I have drawn out a opportunity map. So existing opportunities that um, are in knowledge, the knowledge management space. Um, and it's a really nice way to visualize um, work in a workflow within a GitLab wiki and something that's relatively new to our capabilities. Now you'll see on the right here that you're able to list pages as well as um, sub pages. Um, beneath different, um, beneath your homepage. So you can collapse that as well. Um, and there's a lot of uh, basic functionality available in here um, that is relatively new. And in 16.4, we are also adding the uh, capacity to export um, these pages as PDFs, which has been a highly requested feature. Um, so if you are interested in uh, trying out GitLab's wiki, once again, it is available both on the project level as well as the group level. Now, something interesting that you can do is when you go to edit a page, um, you can click in and edit the diagram that's in there. So this is that draw.io um, integration that I was recently referring to. Um, so there's a lot of capabilities that you're able to do within this integration. Um, and when you've made your appropriate changes, you can simply save and exit. Um, and what's great about the GitLab Wiki is that those these changes are all tracked um, via this page history. So if I click on here, I can see the last update, the author of that update, as well as the existing version. Now this is all also tracked in your activity metrics. So if you go to um, your user profile here, you'll see that that activity that contribution um, is now available here um, to look at. So if you do or are a manager and at a high level, you want to understand uh, what uh, contribution someone on your team is making towards the knowledge base, you can always go into their activity um, and filter by that update to wiki page. Um, so great way to utilize the wiki. So once again, if you're looking to try GitLab for Wiki, it's available for both at the group level as well as the project level. Um, at the moment, we are examining jobs to be done uh, for this category to formalize our feature direction um, for other features beyond the draw.io integration and look forward to the PDF export um, capabilities coming out in 16.4. Thank you.